in Japan they also used to have this type of uh, placing the bricks however they will end up sliding on on this um, line because there is nothing to actually stop them from moving so that's why uh, Japanese have decided that this type of wall is not secure enough and are now using this type of stones see they are against each other so they cannot slide in any direction gravity is pulling them together and they do not have where to slide so it's a very secure type of wall and these pipes are actually going through the stone part and so the rainwater that would come here is flowing out and uh, you can see that the wall is kind of leaning on the surrounding soil but not next to the soil so basically the ground the soil ends here there is this part of stones and then the part where the wall has concrete poured inside in between the stones and uh, it's like the most secure way especially for earthquake prone areas and when you look like this you can notice that you are losing some of the surface because it's not a straight wall it's a slanted wall but uh, this is really good because it leans um, and so the gravity keeps it in place and much better than a vertical wall and it uses this uh, soil this land of mass here to lean on it and to fortify the entire area and even here the corners you can see how nice it is made and how the stones are being cut to fit perfectly and there is concrete also in between all of the stones so this is really nice Japanese craftsmanship that I wanted to share with you another really interesting point is that here this is actually soft so in case, probably in case uh, these parts are moving, there is this buffer here. And uh, so this is like a plastic something. So probably it, ha it lets the wall move. And instead of crushing in itself, there are here like two centimeters of buffer zone in between sides of the wall. And so I think it is very interesting how the Japanese are constructing this type of wall. See, it adds a special type of soil in between the earth and this wall that they are building. So this is probably to um, counteract the earthquake with the earthquake results on these walls. see these stones how actually thick they are and um, how they are used to create this puzzle of a wall here and so this brown the brown that you see is just the so soil um, the natural soil in this area and it appears that they made the um, wall <laughs> the soil wall uh, straight down perpendicularly it's scrapped down and so they do not add these stones directly to this wall of mud and dirt. Instead, they are creating this buffer with this special mix and then adding those plates and then are building this uh, diagonal stone wall on the side. As you can see, these walls have holes to let the water out when it's raining so that's probably why they need these um, special gravel stones that they're putting in here to allow the uh, rainwater to flow faster and get through this wall and get out of the wall as you see they have the pipes built in the wall in places to have this rainwater get out so that the wall doesn't uh, come crashing down.
and also by putting this gravel here, it, it's um, not the wall is not probably stuck in place, but it has some mobility, I would think. So it can move probably to some extent and will not be damaged by earthquakes. remove those wooden planks. I thought they were metal. Anyway, they were removed. So you see, there are three layers now. It is the red soil, the earth, the dirt, the original soil. Then there is the layer of crushed stone. And this new layer of concrete. Also see all those pipes that are implemented in the wall to eliminate water that might accumulate and come from above. Here it's another good angle to see the three layers that are behind this and even to see the stones, how they are shaped. Here we see how he's fixing those pipes that are coming out of the wall.
and look at these stones, these wall parts, how actually thick and deep they are, and what an interesting shape to interlock with each other. They appear really heavy. space to set the pipes in. So very smart. See here there was this mountain of soil and uh, instead of removing everything at once to build the new houses they kept this mountain so that the crane doesn't need to work too much to lift the stones and construct the wall and once they are finished with the wall now they started here the constructions but still this crane is up on the hill to easily uh, bring the materials to the construction side. See, this type of wall is very traditional in Japan. They have this type of bricks that are put like this. Really, everywhere in Japan, even such old walls are constructed in this style. Then topped here like this. Actually, Japan has this type of walls from very long time ago. So the Japanese castles all have such walls that are inclined and where the rocks are 
leaning against each other. So it's probably part of the Japanese way of thinking.